You know, I'd be on the water. It's 4 p.m. I was. This is the time I was gonna come out, but I couldn't wait. I'm at Green Lane. Not many people renting bo boats or anything. There's a couple coming in. I think they had enough. Slight breeze. I got three rods out. Awful carp. I'm sweating. I'm just sitting here, but then I'm overweight. Ah, yes. I'm back on my uh, fishing spot in Green Lane. Fishing for carp. I got the uh, rods out. Now it's just a time to wait. Listen for the bells. Put my feet up, relax, drink some water, look around, look at nature. Quite a few times from a distance. Coming down to the water, scooping up a fish. But as you see, I'm comfortable. No one's bothering me. Once in a while, people ask, oh, how's the fishing? And I tell them slow and steady. <laughs> Sometimes they sit down, they want to talk how I do things. I don't mind the company. As long as they don't stick around too long. So what do you think? Nice scenery? Not much happening. But the view is beautiful. Can't have it all. I can feel the rain behind me. It's gonna be uh, almost 100 degrees every day for the next three days. I should be here in the evening. I can feel the storm behind me. Fishing for carp, three rods out. So far, nothing. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Whew. Why am I here? Well, first of all, I'm fishing for carp today. But this might be too big of a hook. We'll see. You've seen this show before. Everybody fishes for carp, does this. I think this is a number two hook. A little bigger than I like. But we'll give it a try. Okay. I think I wanted a size under. As you see, I got my bait runner. We're not using that because no it's not what it looks like got to pack this real tight it's a lot of rocks here you uh, if you use a if you use a weight Forget it. You're gonna lose every lose it every time. All right. So what I'm doing is one of these knots. Okay. 
I don't know what it's called, don't care what it's called. Whoops. Like any kind of knot you want. Let me see. Put it over this. You see me unwrap this. The other day I got this package from Amazon. This is what you got. So this is my weight. And the reason for this, this will melt, by the way, and he has dog food, dry dog, dog food. Let's give this a shot. I see my bells oh and the reason you gotta have these wrapped up real good as soon as they hit the water about two three seconds they melt you find a bell we put a bell on it oh, a bell. let's put a bell on this Too far away from the rod. Oh, I see it going up and down. Shouldn't be a that shouldn't be a problem. Don't want the bell hanging up here. Let me see. I'm gonna put it right here where it's the thickest. Okay, put it right here where it's, uh, I would like to put it over here, but I can't, doesn't grip enough. All right, let's see what happens. Believe me, if the carp hits it, I'm gonna hear it. Right, let's get the other one set up. Same way. Uh, I take my hat off, it's so hot. Alright, got a, I think I put a smaller hook on this, on this one is a little smaller hook, not much. I'll run this corn as far as I could. If I could run it up the line, I'll run it up the line. I'm not chumming because I'm throwing further than I could chum. But it's still not out of the question. If I get him. Now, here's the problem with this system. Let me make sure I have my hands dry. So I make my loop here like this. Okay. And now, you know what? I'm going to put this whole thing through it through the loop all the way to the middle balance it out kind of okay and then I'm gonna pull from the main line so it's right against the corn now here's the problem with that when I throw it out once it's melt there's no weight so on this one I am gonna put a weight just to keep my hook and stuff in, in that in that location okay so let's see how this works out especially on a windy day you gotta have that on a windy day
Okay. I like this last setup the best. Has a small drop shot on it. You gotta have that on a windy day. You gotta have that because your line, even today, I think you should have it because your line will drift with the current. We'll see. We'll see which one gets the bite first. I say the last one here will get the bite first. Let's uh, put the bell on. Don't forget the. All the videos are set up as loose as, as they can be. Like I said, the main thing on this, keep this dry. Even uh, the Ziploc bags, even two Ziploc bags. When I get home, I'll probably put them in two Ziploc bags. Ninety-five degrees. I guess it's around three o'clock now. It's been eighty since I think six or seven this morning. It's going to be uh, close to a hundred every day for about four days. So I expect to be here till the storms come. I might even. Uh, Head into the car when the storm's here and uh, come back out. You know how it is. 15 minutes and it's over. Sun comes out. I just might do that. Whew. Sweating just sitting here. And I'm in the shade. Okay, looks good out there. Waiting for the first bite. The drag is as loose as it could be. Oh, you know what, by the way. Remember this? PVA mesh. Hey, while we're waiting, why not? I've got a bunch of bags. I already got pre-made. Everything's pre-made, but when I not gonna hurt having any more. Okay, this is what I used to keep my uh, chicken livers in for the winter time. I washed it off best I could. And I put dog food in there, dry dog food. This is this is really cool. I'm really I'm really impressed. So this is what you got. Whoops. Might remind you of something, but let's not go there. Okay. Have a little plunger. This is already this is already tied off. I'll make one. Okay, put this. Oops. Okay. See how I did that? Put it in here halfway. That's more than enough. Like I said, this is dry dog food. Anything you got that's dry, go for it. I'm gonna come out, come up with some other stuff. 
Let's try. Okay, now watch. Okay, now the plunger is even. Just back on this end. Don't wet it. Okay, now the plunger is all the way out. All you gotta do is hold this, twist it, tie it off any way you want. I'm gonna cut it. Tie it off. My hands aren't as nimble as they used to be. And I, if I would have gave, laid, I think this is good enough. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. Okay. You could tie it off at the ends. You could do whatever you want. Let's do it one more, one more time, real quick. I'll do one more. Take this, stretch it out as much, as much as you can. Tie it up. Pull it back towards the end so no, there's no waste. Okay. And it gets easier. You do it faster. We had a lot of storms here. There's a lot of debris. On the shoreline. I checked a couple of spots out and I seen all that debris. I said, nah. I don't want to fish there. Get hung up. Even though here you could walk into the water, it's, it's very shallow. I catch carp here in the sun, in the uh, spring. You see that I got videos. Whoa, 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 whoa! A little too much. I should go about halfway. Not that it matters. Okay, so just hold on to the end. And put the plunger in. Push all that. dog food or whatever all the way through come on the end take it okay turn it a few times oops I know you, <laughs> you'll be able to do better once you try it I mean I thought it was a great idea Here we go with the tying again. I'm gonna get my rod and I think I'm gonna put a split shot on each one of them, but then I have to waste everything I just threw out because it smelled it. Come on. Okay, good enough. Okay. It's not as neat as it's not as neat as it could be, but on okay, so you could imagine cast it right this lands in the water there's your hook okay this lands in the water with your corn and this melts away and all that lays there the carp comes to eat this, bam, finds the hook, and he's yours. I thought it was a great idea. It's just a matter of other carp here now. I don't know. If they are, this will work. Okay, let's put this in a bag, have it ready.
put that in a Ziploc bag. Put the corn in a Ziploc bag and it's good to go. You could freeze it. Or just keep it in the refrigerator. Depends how often you go. I right, will let you know when when I catch something. Uh, by the way, this comes in this case pretty waterproof. I'm satisfied. Like I said, do not get this weight wet. Okay. It says PVA tube five N. I 1.5 millimeters slow dissolving so it's slow dissolving perfect and there's my five gallon bucket I have a big trash can there. If it rains, I just put a trash bag over that, put it under the table, and I should be okay. You've seen that show before in my other videos. important fishing for carp especially catfish rags never have enough rags but have everything ready to go in a bucket just in case of rain and ziplock bags save you a ton you know how It's raining. Man, Cam camera's dry. Got a bunch of them in here. Raining. It's a small one. I have other big ones in there. Nothing worse than plastic on plastic. But you got the idea. Get your cell phone in there. Zip it up, good to go. Some tips might help you. Let the air out, save space in the bucket, good to go. Always have my pliers, my scissors ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know how some of these cameras don't come with a lens well you gotta have a lens because I made that mistake before and you drop it the camera might be okay but you get a nick on the lens and you're done so try different uh, caps uh, this one I tried soda caps for my camera it's too big so I, have, I have the Y why e i light why i light why i and then space l i t e that's what i use and this is from beef broth and chicken broth okay fits perfectly on the i just cut out the cut out the middle the little i don't know what you call them but i cut them out and fits on the camera perfectly okay that's all i gotta tell you and if you got a head like this, on a sunny day, you better wear that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Tip like that, keep everything in there. My bells, bobbles. Matter of fact, I'm going to use one of these zip like bags right now.
should have used that old one, but oops, almost dropped it. Okay. You have a cooler? Is that a cooler? Good to go? If not. Okay. Let the air out of it. Zip it up, you're good to go. And of course, this park is great for keeping things clean. It's out of it. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I don't even know where the trash can was. But I knew there was one close by. There's no reason to leave trash behind. They make it so they make it so convenient. Make it nice for everybody. All right. Well, I'm surprised I didn't get anything yet. But that's carp fishing. Sometimes you get no bites. Sometimes you get all three going. And, oh, another tip. No, it's not Coke. It's, uh, you put water in there. Freeze it. Good to go. Keep it in my uh, cooler. Or I gotta take it out. And I could sip on it for a long time. All right, enough talking. Let's get some fish. Seven o'clock. It's almost time to get out of here. Fish are not biting. Sky doesn't look that bad. And I have uh, my uh, main quarter, kind of, partially. I'm ready to go any second. But I'm ready to stay also. <laughs> Don't let these bars move. You fishermen know, you fishermen know what I'm talking Looks like the storm is heading in that direction. That could be wrong. Should I stay or should I go? Yep, I think it's time to go. Getting worse. I don't want to be stuck in a flood.
I gotta get out of here. Flash flood warnings all, all over the place. And I'm gonna be going by a creek pretty soon. I was just, uh, I just bent over a big branch. I just want to get away from those trees and Green Lane overhanging the road. Stuff was falling all over the place. I thought the uh, storm was the other way. I seen it, uh, but I guess we have little pockets all over the place. I thought I was going to be in a clear. I didn't look in this direction. Good no ahead. Looks like it's green for now. Then I got away from those, uh, from those trees for now. I should cross this bridge and I should be okay. <laughs> 